Can you really die of a broken heart? Hi, I'm Dr. Hart. Before answering that question, I want to tell you a story from my early days as a young doctor working in a hospital. One day at the ward, an elderly lady suddenly collapsed in the hallway after she had learned of the death of her husband. Her symptoms perfectly matched those of a heart attack, so of course we immediately performed an emergency cardiac catheterization. But contrary to our expectations, we found a no blocked artery, as one would expect in a heart attack. Instead, there was a pronounced widening and complete immobilization at the tip of the heart. This finding is quite typical for the so-called broken heart syndrome. But how can our mind, how can thoughts and feelings cause such a life-threatening physical condition of the heart? Our mind, our heart and our whole body are very well connected. Severe psychological stress, such as the loss of a loved one, for example, can lead to the broken heart syndrome. The suspected cause is a damage to the heart tissue after an excess exposure to stress hormones. Patients can sometimes die from the cardiac arrhythmia this disease can cause. So, in theory, yes, it is possible to die of a broken heart, but it doesn't happen very often. Situations of sudden and intense emotional pain can affect our hearts just as ongoing stress can. And for the most of us, the second case occurs much more frequently. It can pave the way for a whole bunch of undesirable conditions like high blood pressure, constant inflammation and fluctuations in our blood sugar levels. In the long run, these can lead to heart attacks, strokes and the like. People under stress also adopt more unhealthy habits. We are less conscious of what we eat, we smoke more and we sleep less. So what can we do? First and foremost, if you suffer from a serious mental issue like depression or anxiety, please seek out professional help. Second, you can practice and learn to let thoughts pass you by just like clouds in the sky, even the unpleasant ones. Anyone can learn how to hide it too. And third, take chronic stress seriously. Even if you can't measure it as easily as blood pressure or cholesterol, it's still a very dangerous risk factor. So learn to manage your stress effectively and start setting aside half an hour of daily me time today. Take this time just for yourself to relax and to do whatever makes you happy. Remember, mind, body and soul. A healthy heart needs a healthy attitude. Make sure to relax. Be good to yourself.